welcome back to Circle Time. It's me. It's me, you guys. It's Kals. It's Kals. It's M. That voice it's that M. you hear over there. That's my best friend, Emma. Hey, guys. And she is joining us for today's episode of Circle Time because, you know, this is a long time coming. Emma it and is. I, you know, we go way back, known each other since college. And what we do when we hang out is sit on my couch or a couch. Any couch. We don't discriminate. No, no couch left behind. No. And we, what we do is we talk. We talk for hours. We, Emma comes over. Yeah. She doesn't leave. No. When, when we have, when it's a day designated for what we call couch time. Couch time, obviously. Obviously. What else would it be called? Um, we're simple it's, gals. It's kind of like an eight hour minimum. Yeah. We're clocking in. Yeah. And we're ready to it's, ride. Oh, we go overtime. We do. Go, and we should get paid, I feel like. And maybe that's where this podcast is. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I just feel like Emma and I, you know, we love to talk. We love to talk to each other. We love to just sit and chat. And so I thought who better to have on like as a. All my guests that I've had on are like friends of mine, but Emma's really seen some shit. You know what I mean? <laughs> like she, she saw, she saw 2016 Kelsey, which like I owe her everything but, for that. I mean, simultaneously, Kelsey saw 2016 Emma and it was just a really dark, dark time. Yeah. For the both of us. 2016 was not our year, but we got through it together. And honestly, like I feel... Like it brought us so much closer. <laughs> a lot of tears. My favorite moment of 2016. Is there, could anything be called favorite if yeah. it belonged in yeah. 2016? Yeah. <laughs> I have one. And it's one time Emma came over and there was this guy that I was talking to. I want to say dating. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Kelsey um, might I, say dating. I would say dating. He would say not dating. <laughs> and he left his weed at my house. <laughs> he left his weed at my house because what can I say? I like a fucking bad boy. And Emma and I decided. I also think I was not 21 yet. You, I don't think Which you is were. why this was the way that we chose to spend. I mean, we could have, like, I could have gotten us alcohol. We, like, wanted That's to very smoke true. weed. <laughs> I'm two years older than Emma, by the way. So she, I was, what, 22, probably. And we saw this Swede and we were like, fuck it. Let's fucking roll up and smoke. <laughs> Neither one of us has have ever like rolled a joint. No. So we went to like the liquor store around the corner and got rolling papers and like went back to my house and like Googled how to roll a joint. I think we watched a YouTube video. <laughs> I couldn't tell you. And we made, we rolled like the worst joy. We couldn't even smoke it. We like tried to, right. but it like barely lit. Right. So it was a pretty fail. But I would say like that was a high of 2016 because, and that, I mean, that was like a sad day. That was like a pathetic day. But like right. for us, like that was a really good day. It was a really good day. And I was about to say to give 2016 some perspective, that was Kelsey's highlight of the year. Yeah. <laughs> The entire, the entire year, 365 days. That was our highlight. So just think yeah. about how the rest of the year went. Totally. Totally. <laughs> I think I'm done talking about 2016. Me too. But I just wanted to put to, uh, just I just wanted to tell you guys where how long Emma and I have been friends and the shit that we've seen, the shit that we've shared with each yeah. other. Yeah. So one of our absolute favorite topics here on Circle Time, can't get enough of it, is dating. I love when people call in during story times and ask questions and we get into dating discussions and something I get asked so often is about meeting new people, you know, going on first dates, putting yourself out there. And that is why I'm so excited to have Match Dating app as a sponsor here on Circle Time. I feel like everyone knows someone who's met their person on Match. I definitely have. And I love Match because Match believes, as do I, that the most important relationship is with yourself. So in a world where you can choose to do anything or anyone, choose you first. Because dating someone who knows what they want and won't settle for less is 
truly sexy and just what you want in someone. And Match's latest study of over 5,000 U.S. singles proves it. 87% of singles say it's important for both partners to prioritize mental health, and two-thirds of young singles are open to therapy. 81% reported they engage in self-care at least monthly. 53% say they find dating a helpful tool to learn how to be their best self. And nearly 40% of singles say they feel more sexually empowered this year. So more power to you. And this just shows there are a ton of people on Match who are actually open to taking care of themselves. So that way they can be the best in their relationships. If you do you, you already know the best relationships show up when you show up for yourself first. And there's never been a better time to try Match. So download the Match app today. And so here we are. And we're here at Circle Time. And so we actually, little uh, behind the scenes tea for you guys is that we recorded this episode last week. And we were going to talk about my bachelorette party. Well, we did. We talked about my bachelorette party. We went in full detail into the batch party, you know? And half the episode didn't record. The recorder broke in the middle. I thought it fixed. Thought we were recording. We kind of crushed the second we half. We really did. Like so good. Laughing. It had joking. energy. Oh my God. The vibe. Chanting. Chanting. What were we chanting? Esteban. Esteban. Well, we could tell you guys about it still, but basically I'm a little exhausted about talking about my bachelorette party. But I did promise my sweet circlers to, that I would talk about it. So that's what we're going to do just for we're going to give you like we're going to give you the cliff notes version. With some detail and then kind of just like vibe out here in the circle with M. OK. <laughs> I love it. I love vibing out in the circle here with Kels. <laughs> <laughs> so here here we have it. It was my batch. It was your batch. Arrival. Arrival. We went to Scottsdale. Arrival was so strong. You bet your sweet ass. I wore a bedazzled shirt that said bride. I wore a full white sweatsuit. Mm -hmm. I was ready to fucking go. Emma and I were on the same flight. Yep. And we, we got to the airport. Actually, this is pretty crazy. So I don't even know if like, this was like a deep cut. Okay. I don't know where you're going with this. Well, Cody and I have a TikTok account. Yeah. Oh, together that we sometimes post on called What Hot People Eat. And we haven't posted on it in a really long time. And we decided to post on it like a couple days ago or like a couple days before we left for the bachelor party. And some guy in the airport, like he was probably like 40s, 40s, mm -hmm. was like, Excuse me, do you have a TikTok? <laughs> And I was like, yeah. And he was like, what hot people eat? And I was like, yeah. And he was like, oh my God, my wife was just showing me all your videos last night. And it was probably like the coolest thing I've ever been recognized for. It was really sweet. It was so sweet. You took a selfie? Yeah, but it's like, damn. I didn't know what hot people eat was hitting like that. At I home. know. Anyway, so that happened. Got to the house. House was decorated so beautifully. I have two maids of honor and one of them, Elizabeth, she decorated the whole place immaculately immaculately there were pictures everywhere there were bags filled with quote-unquote swag if you will absolutely there was hats with chili's face on them mm -hmm. there was pictures of everyone there was a whole like taylor swift wall there was a balloon sign that said let's co girls it was stunning stunning and the house was stunning as well everything was stunning we were in Scottsdale. Did I mention that? I did. Okay. And the whole, like the neighborhood that we were in was beautiful. It was just like, kind of like serene. It was. And just like, nice. And so Thursday was pretty chill. There were, there were only like five of us there. And we... But upon arrival, Kelsey is not only crying because of how beautiful all the decorations were and like she couldn't believe it was her bachelorette but then it was you also very overwhelming got maybe some of the biggest top five biggest news of your life you think it might be <laughs> okay i mean like i'll take it <laughs> it's kind of a sad life but like i'll take it That's it's not sad it's, it was huge i was already overwhelmed and then elizabeth was like should we tell her and i was like there couldn't be possibly anything else that you could tell me right now and she she told me that her husband, Adam, who's officiating my wedding with Emma, got a box 
at one of the Taylor Swift concerts and like got us all tickets to go see Taylor Swift. Like, which is insane. I still think I'm in shock. Like that doesn't really feel real. Like, cause it was like, I didn't even think that that was possible. And like getting Taylor Swift tickets was kind of just one of those things where I was like, if it happens, it happens. But like, and it happened. But then it happened and it happened like when I was least expecting it. And then I was just kind of like, no, <laughs> no, that's actually not happening. So, and I think I'm still in shock about it. That's okay. You've got like a, eight months to prep. Yeah. And for all of, so for, because I've gotten a lot of messages of people asking if I am going. So I am going to one of the shows in LA. I, I am still going to try to get tickets for another one as well. Because I really want to see Gracie Abrams. Okay. Do you like Gracie Abrams? I don't know. Do I? I don't know. I think you would, though. I feel you like could definitely I know the play name. Her, her music. I know the name. I'm sure I have a song saved or something. She, I just can't think I just off the top. think is brilliant. 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 Like literal, lyrical genius. Okay. I'll look into it. And I just love her. And she's opening for Taylor Swift on some of the shows. A few LA ones. And so I want to go to one of the LA ones that she's opening for. Okay. But I'm very excited. I mean, that was just insane. Everything's been insane. Like at that point, I was like, this is already the best weekend of my life. Mm -hmm. And I've been here for five minutes. <laughs> but it's just crazy. Like, I don't know. It was wild. Everybody came by like Thursday night. We got a few more come on Friday. Like my cousins from New York and we had Emma and my other best friend or my other maid of honor, who's one of my best friends from high school. And... We had like Nat, who's Jillian. been in my YouTube video sometimes and Jillian, Elizabeth's sister, who's a friend and like just like a really like good group. And like everybody, everybody, we had like different stages of life. Krista, Cody's sister. Right. Like it was just like everyone from every part of my life that's ever been special, you know? Right. And it was really beautiful. Friday, we woke up went to lunch mm -hmm. and then we went ATVing. Which was so absolutely fun. I didn't really like know much about ATVing. No, but same. That was definitely a highlight of the weekend. It was so fun. I don't think anybody knew what to expect. And we were all kind of like, okay, we're going to go ATVing. But like no one, everyone was kind of nervous more than anything. Right. The, you definitely could see who the more adrenaline junkies were because they were like, I'm driving, I'm driving. That's true. And it was also beautiful. We went at sunset. And so there's these cac cacti. Nice. Thanks. Mm -hmm. There are these cacti that are like 10 feet tall. Yeah. Perfect, beautiful sunset. We're like riding through the mountains. Like in the mountains. I didn't know Scottsdale was so stunning. It's breathtaking. It is. And like, I mean, the desert is my favorite climate. <laughs> I was trying to think of this word in the episode that we recorded before, but like, you know, there's like desert, there's beach, there's mountain. My favorite's desert. And I think that's called climate. I was originally saying terrain. I'm going, I'm going all in on climate. Okay. I don't know though. Like what I don't are those either. called? Places. <laughs> <laughs> like I don't, I don't know, but my desert is my favorite one. And so when we were in the desert, it was just beautiful. And I drove the whole time. I drove part time. Oh, here's the thing. We almost the when we got on the way there, we were like all they they like got a van for us to be in like the someone. What am I thinking of? She picked us up in a van to go to the ATV, like the, the ATV company yeah. picked us up in a van. And she was like really late picking us up. Like we were just like at the restaurant for a while waiting for her. And she called or no, she, we got there and we're like packed in this van and she is fucking booking it. Like she is like going so fast. She's going up behind cars and then like swerving around them and going like really like we were all scared for our lives. Yeah. Anyone who hadn't immediately clicked their seatbelt was like, OK, I think. And we're like, sorry, you were late. But in. Right. Don't kill us. But then she looked at Megan, my friend who was in the front seat, and she was like, just let me know if I'm scaring you. I just trying to make up for some lost time. And it's just like, when did, 
You have to look at someone who's in the passenger seat and say, let me know if I'm scaring you. I think insane. that if you're saying those words, that's enough. Like, I don't think I'm the world's best driver, but I've never been like, I think this person's scared. You know, like that. And so Megan was like, totally. But like, we were all scared. Yeah, it was pretty terrifying. And then, so, but luckily we made it. And then we did the ATV and it was honestly just beautiful and fun. And we were all like amped after. Yeah. I was worried everyone was going to be tired. Because that was the night that we, after ATVing, we had a short amount of time. We got ready to go to dinner and then we went out. Yeah. And so after such a long day, you would think that maybe some steam would be lost. But like we had high morale. Yeah. High energy. Yeah. After. We were ready to go. We got dressed. I freaked out about what outfit of mine to wear as I as I tend to do, but I went with like a little dress and boots and this like beaded bolero shrug thing. Very cute. And then it was time to party and we went to this. Well, first of all, we got a party bus. There are a few few things in life that I love when it comes to partying. And that is... A table at a club. A table at a club and a party bus. And a party bus. And I don't really know why that is. I just think I didn't... I've I've done it the perfect amount of times in my life to where it still feels like a luxury and not like a everyday thing. Right. And so I just like... I think it is like the most like the coolest thing ever. <laughs> it was fun. And the party bus was like... It wasn't... If you think standard party bus, this was truly double that. No. It was the longest party bus I've ever seen in my entire life. It was the biggest party bus ever. Elizabeth went outside and the guy, his name was Reggie. He was like, we upgraded you. (laughs) (laughs) Surprise. And it was like a fucking charter bus. Like it was like. It was huge. It was like a full on tour bus. Like it couldn't all. I tried to take a picture of it and it didn't all fit like in the. Right. Right normal picture all of us were were in the middle and you could have sat a whole bachelorette behind us and, and in, front in front of us, us. oh 100 percent, yeah and like it was so fun but there was so much room like it was huge it was massive we were all like catwalking down the entire mm-hmm. thing but you know it was pretty perfect and it just had like scottsdale party bus tour.com like like <laughs> plastered across the the side and it was perfect. And then we went to dinner and this little like private room and like the food was insane. Mm-hmm. Good cocktails. Such good cocktails. And we played. Well, when we got there, we had like Elizabeth had set up like she put a bunch of dares on different little pictures. Mm-hmm. And we basically did like a white elephant of dare, dare or, or dare. Dare. <laughs> dare or dare white elephant edition so everybody went around and picked a dare and then you could like trade with someone if you wanted to do their dare instead of yours right emma was the first trader i was she initially what did you initially pull i didn't you asked me this last time i didn't initially pull any because i just didn't know how to play the game steal okay well i think we were all a little bit confused because people were telling me to trade Oh my God. Well, you're talking, but you're moving your hands. And so the Sorry. mic is like, <laughs> people were telling me to trade at night. So I just didn't. I traded and I got, get someone to propose to you. Yes. So we all got these little like light up flashy rings and right. I got someone at the club to propose to me. And he was so sweet and tall. He was sweet and tall. And I think he really enjoyed the bachelorette energy. Yeah. I feel like if you had to choose someone to get to propose to you in that club, like he was probably like, he was, seemed like a good guy. Sure. He kept like faking. He kept like joking around about kissing you. Did he? <laughs> like he kept going like, yeah. I and don't then, think I, I think I, I literally paying got, attention. I didn't even set up the proposal. Actually, Megan did. Yeah. And so I turn around. She goes, he'll propose to you. <laughs> and I hand him the ring. He gets down, proposes to me, puts it on my finger. And then I say, thanks. And I tried to hand him one of our shots. And he like turned his back. And I had to tap his back like three times. And Kelsey was like, she's giving you a shot. <laughs> and I was like, thanks. Like, here's a shot. And then I walked away. And so he, so I didn't but see he the was, second half of this interaction. He was doing like a little bit. Like you were like making sure like we got a picture and you were like, you were like doing task. the admin. Right. <laughs> you will. And I was just watching this sweet guy like 
do this bit that he thought was like hilarious where he would like he said like he was like she said yes and he kept going like faking to like kiss you but like he wasn't actually trying to kiss you at all but uh, yeah he, i think i was like on the other side of the table yeah no but like he <laughs> thought it was like really funny to be like and then he'd like laugh and go like ah uh, after and like and no one was like acknowledging him and i was like it's a funny joke God, i literally funny. was like that's a funny joke and he was like thanks i'm i was trying <laughs> i'm like just trying to like joke okay, around thanks. and then you were like here's your shot because i think while you were tapping him is when i was like that's oh. a really good bit that you've been working on for the last five minutes got it and then i was like she's trying to give you a shot but he was yeah. like he was a sweet prince he was a we'll sweet never prince. see him again there's a couple club rats there yeah like what your like, ooh, ooh guys my ooh, ooh guys were my kings they were i mean kings. they needed to stop but you kind of instigated. I did, but it was like, you know, there were just like these three guy? guys. There were these three guys that like, instead of like just trying to talk to anyone else, they just were standing there like staring at our table. Right. And like, anytime like one of us would like make any sort of movement, they would like start cheering for us. Mm -hmm. And they kept going, ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> Which like, which like objectively is like the worst fucking thing I someone hate can when do. people do that at concerts. <laughs> yeah. If you're an ooh ooh person, no, never do it. You know who else hates it is Adam. He doesn't. He, no, he hates it. Oh, I was going to say no. Like being an ooh ooh er is so bad. But I could tell obviously that they were ooh ooers because like, ooh -ooh anytime we would like do anything, we were getting ooh oohs. And so then, if I didn't hear one, I would go ooh ooh. <laughs> Ooh, hello, ooh, ooh, hello. And then they would be like, ooh, ooh. And mm -hmm. I was like, these, I mean, little minions. <laughs> <laughs> they just want to do whatever I say, even though they didn't. They just wanted to ooh, ooh. I they really want, think. Or I think they also wanted to approach the table, but we had a pretty hard line with who could and could not approach the table. Right, which was Only us. us. <laughs> <laughs> and not a single other person. Not anyone else. No, I mean, anytime someone tried to come over, we'd be like, get them. Yeah, the Get security him. was like pointing at him and we'd say, uh-uh, sorry. No, no, no. Is he no. good? He's absolutely not no. good. Get him the fuck out of here. I mean, we even had two tables next to each other for the 14 girls that were there. Right. And all of us chose to stay around one table yep. stacked on top, like sitting on top of the booth. Right. So that we could be as close together as possible without anyone no. else And joining. we just wanted to dance and sing and laugh and drink. And it's exactly what we did. That's exactly what we did. And it was super fun. Okay. I don't know about you all, but I really feel like lately I've just been seeing everyone quitting at the moment. They're turning their side hustle into their day job. And it's amazing. It's so exciting. And if you're wanting to do the same thing, the all-in-one commerce platform Shopify makes it easy to start, run, and grow your business. Shopify makes it simple to sell to anyone from anywhere. Whether your thing is vintage teas or recipes for ghee, start selling with Shopify and join the platform simplifying commerce for millions of your favorite businesses worldwide. With Shopify, you'll create an online store completely in your own vibe. You'll discover new customers and you'll grow the following that keeps them coming back. Shopify has all the sales channels sorted so your business keeps growing from an in-person POS system to an all-in-one e-commerce platform even across social media platforms like TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, and thanks to 24 seven support and free libraries full of educational content, Shopify has got you every single step of the way. Every minute new sellers around the world make their first sale with Shopify and you will too. I mean, I, I don't know. I feel like I always have new ideas for businesses and like things that I want to start and that would really be amazing to start, but I never follow through because I don't know. It just seems difficult and impossible to do. But now it's never been easier to start and grow a business thanks to Shopify. The simplicity of it all has really encouraged me to step up and start and try new things. So you should too. Sign up for a free trial at shopify.com slash circle time, all lowercase. Go to shopify.com slash circle time to start selling online today. Shopify.com slash circle time. I got anxious, nauseous mm -hmm. for a second. Because I was so worried. I get really worried that I'm going to like fuck everything up by like getting too drunk and getting sick. Even though like that doesn't really, that doesn't really happen in public. No. Like if I ever like get sick from drinking, no one really knows about it. Unless you're like with me in that moment. But like I'm right. not like 
at the club like fucking or like at a bar like super no. fucked up like you know what i mean right like, because you, you you don't really know i'm drunk and then i leave and then i'll throw up right because you either silently leave and do that yeah or you're you are a host like wherever we are any bar Kelsey invites everyone over to her house yeah, and then likes to like over. have the fun here. And so then you're in your safe space, your safe place. And I you can, can like sneak tuck away. away to your oh room. Oh my God, I can sneak away for a second and give a little throw up and then come back out. And then you're ready to party. Which also doesn't happen often. I don't want people Not to think all. that this is something that they should do. But like, I'm just saying like, it's a weird thing for me to be so anxious about when like, that's not a common thing that happens. Right. But maybe that's why. Because but I like think, you don't want to mess yeah, up. Yeah, and I one. also think it's like it was kind of like if I didn't have a drink in my hand, someone would be like, get Kelsey a drink. Or like it was yeah. very much like all eyes on me, which made me anxious. Because mm-hmm. I was like, don't fuck this up. <laughs> don't like be like fucking drunk. <laughs> God forbid she I gets was drunk at her drunk. bachelorette. I was I was drunk, but I just was like a good drunk. Right. Then I was like, oh my God, what if I'm too drunk? I'm just, I'm kind of nauseous. And then I was like, you got to relax. Yeah. And so I did. And then we went back to the house, just the girls. And obviously because we didn't talk to right. anyone else. <laughs> no one else was allowed. Because no one else was ever allowed. And we scream sang Taylor Swift and danced and ate mm-hmm. and like truly had so much fun. Wasn't it, it was fun? A lot of fun? It was a lot of fun. It was just like, that's the kind of shit that I just love. You know, yeah. the, like being at home. I mean, like, sure, getting like getting a table and the party bus and everything was obviously so much fun. But like the moments where it's just like everybody just gets to like, right. We all like loose. we like, dove into the swag bags and yeah. like people had like hats and bandanas draped around them. And yeah, we had our like, pajamas on yeah, and it was pants. just like it was girl, a good balance. It was like girl time. Right. Girl o'clock. And that's like all I really wanted was girl o'clock. We did at it the well. end of the day. We did. And then the next day was Saturday. Everybody was pretty hungover, I would say. Saturday was pool party slumber party day. Yeah. And brunch. And brunch. And we went to brunch at this really good place. And we had an angel of a server. His name is Esteban. That's who Esteban is. That's who Esteban is. That's what we were chanting. And he was truly... God's gifts to the earth. He was. Like, he was such a sweetheart. And he was like, he got me. He was bringing, he told Kelsey he was going to bring her a little something. Yeah, he's like, I got a little something, something for you. I said, Esteban, please. Esteban. I'm an engaged woman. (laughs) But it was a shot. And he knew I liked vodka because, well, he asked, obviously. And it was like a passion fruit. Passion fruit? Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And vodka. And he was like, and it was like, it was like lighting on fire. Yeah. There was like a skull sugar cube on top that he lit on fire. It was like a shooter, not just like a shot. Yeah. Yeah. It wasn't like filled to the brim with alcohol. I think it was like mainly passion fruit juice. Right. With like a little splash on top. And we, I mean, it was delicious. (laughs) And like every, like, okay, so he brought one out. We were like, yeah, my God, shot. Kelsey, take a shot. Esteban, you're the best. Everyone's freaking out, taking pictures, taking Mm -hmm. videos. And then he's like, any other time you want a shot, let me know. And I was like, totally. And I think that Esteban said that thinking three max. Yeah. And that's like, she's, she's having fun. She's letting loose. She's having three max shots. And in my mind, I said, oh. Keep them coming. I said, Esteban said, anytime I want a shot. <laughs> Therefore, I'm going to take complete advantage of the situation. Absolutely. I think I had about six or seven. Yes. Every single time. Every single time. Poor Esteban had to fucking light the sugar skull on fire. Yeah. They, and we are screaming. The Lord never stopped. Screaming every screamed single time. Screamed at the top of our lungs. We acted like we had never seen fire before. Or like, like a shot. Women. Or like, yeah. Never a shot. <laughs> Esteban even tried to switch it up for Kelsey. He's like, what about like tequila and other fruit? And Kelsey was like, no. No. I want Tito's and passion fruit. I, mean, I want the same thing. It was perfect. I and want the like, same thing every single okay. time. I'm a simple gal. Once I find something I like, I really latch on. I'm the same creature of habit. Yeah. And so it's like, if it ain't broke. No, I know I like my Esteban shots. 
So just keep bringing Esteban specials. And he did. But by the end, I by think the he end, was he was over like it. over it. He didn't light it on fire. It like wasn't like the vodka was just laying on top of the passion fruit juice. <laughs> it wasn't actually mixed. Like he no, I was like, sorry, I, I'm but it didn't sorry. affect you. You had you still loved it. It was the there the one where they were not mixed was not like my favorite for oh. sure. Well, but all in all, it was like a beautiful experience. Kelsey also had the best salad of her life at this restaurant. <laughs> oh my god. I keep forgetting about this. I was sitting across from Kelsey and, you know, there's a lot of screaming, ooh, ah, eyes on her. She's taking the shot. And which, finally- Which also was a lot for me to handle. Like, Absolutely. I do, I do, I don't mind when there's attention on me, obviously, like considering my line of work right. and like all of that. But like when it's constant- It's a lot. It's a lot. And it was like every time I walked into a room, everyone would be like, yeah, which was like amazing. Like I don't, if they didn't do that, I would have been sad. Right. But it like I was like overwhelmed a lot of the time. Right. So during this dinner, there are these moments where like, you know, the brunch. Uh, sh- brunch. <laughs> Did I say dinner? <laughs> yeah. Sorry. During brunch, there was lulls and Kelsey finally had her like moment of silence. Well, because I was or, sitting like, in the weren't... middle. So like everyone on this side would be talking. Everyone on this side would be talking. I would just kind of be in like Kelsey land, which She's in Kelsey I do land. love. And I happen to be sitting straight across from Kelsey land. Yeah. And I hear Kelsey, you know, take a bite of her salad. And she goes, wow, this is the best salad I've ever had. (laughs) Which it was. Okay, okay, good. Oh, my God. Yay. She likes her meal. (laughs) She's loving it. I'm (laughs) eating. I'm listening to the conversation to my right, to the left. Kelsey takes another bite. She goes, this salad is so good. (laughs) And I'm like, not acknowledging her. She's kind of in Kelsey world. She's enjoying the salad. She, you know, swallows, takes another bite. Oh, my gosh. (laughs) This is the best salad I've ever had. Mind you, she's talking to herself. Nobody's listening. This is being said under her breath. And I finally crack. (laughs) Hey, gals, how good is that salad? And she starts laughing because I don't think you realize that you were saying it. No. That someone was listening. I didn't realize I was saying it. Um, (laughs) Every bite. The thing about me is that I also like, I think like I... I can see, like, I know what was happening inside my brain. (laughs) Like, I know that I was thinking, like, you got to talk to people. (laughs) Like, 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 everybody's here. Everybody's here for you. Like, you have to make sure you're talking to, like, the people who are next to you. And, like, (laughs) what if someone's, like, not in a conversation? Like, just, like, say shit. But, like, the only thing I could think of was, like, how good my salad was. And also, I was, like, every time, like, the lull between, like, me taking a shot to the next one I was just hung over <laughs> so like, teetering with like am I getting buzzed or am I getting like am I nauseous like, yeah and so I'm just kind of like it couldn't think of anything else to say like right. besides like I just was like zoned in but like needed felt like I needed to say something in order to like keep the troops alive even though no one was paying no attention one, to me. no one was paying attention to Kelsey but I was just like worried like what if I just sat there in silence so instead I just kept tossing <laughs> I'm talking about how good her salad so was. Again, salad, salad praise. It was entertaining. It was fun. And then we finished brunch and it was amazing. Elizabeth told Esteban's boss how wonderful of a job he did. Like he really was like he the was best great. server. We literally were chant like screaming. 15, 14 of us were screaming his name, Esteban. chanting it. Esteban. Over and over again. He was the fucking best. He was. I'll, I'll put a picture of us in the video. So if you're watching the video, you can see it. But... Yeah, so that was really fun. And then we went back home and it's like pool party time. Yeah, like at this point, we're locked into the house for the rest of the day. So everyone's yeah, I didn't changing like go out. comfy. I didn't want to go out twice, like twice. I'd rather, I wanted to have like just like right. comfy home time. And when we say pool party, not one of us put a single body part in the pool because it no. was absolutely freezing. It was freezing and it so wasn't that hot in Arizona we were also at the time. Inside, we weren't even by the pool. No, I was in sweats and a bikini top. Well, we're just going to call it pool party. Pool party. For sake of the day. Yeah. So in between like brunch and everybody's like getting ready for the pool party, I got like a little bit overwhelmed. Yeah. Just like. Well, I feel like the night before when you started getting that anxious, like I need yeah. to have fun. Right. That was like the beginning. And then it kind of peaked that next day. Yes. And I just like, you know, there's a bunch of people from different walks of life all over. You're, they all, they only, not only know you, like, you know what I mean? But like you are the anchor between everyone. You want to, everybody flew to Arizona. You want to make sure everybody's having, and 
everybody was having a good time. Like nothing led to me thinking someone wasn't having a good time. It was more just like, this is a lot. And I just really hope everybody's having fun. Right. And so, yeah, I just like had a little moment in the closet. Emma (laughs) sat there (laughs) and Elizabeth. And I was just like, I just want to make sure everybody's having fun and blah, blah, blah. And like, and also like Cody was at his bachelor party and like, I would only hear like, I was like, what if all the boys have died? <laughs> like you don't hear from them, you right. know? And then it's just like, well, like one of the girl, cause a lot of the girl, there were friends a few girlfriends or wives from Cody's were at Kelsey's. So someone would be like, Oh, I got a text from Sam. Like he just said they're here. Right. And then I'm and like, then it's, and everyone's then someone's like, like, okay, they're all there. Yeah. And someone's like, I haven't talked to this person in, 24 hours and it's just like what is happening over there you know what I mean and so there was like just there were just there was just a lot going on and but you know they were all fine obviously but there was just a lot happening at once and I think I was just I just had a moment which is totally fine but as I'm having this moment all of a sudden everybody is like Kelsey go attack yeah Jenna my friend Jenna who is a big Love Island fan as am I was like you've got a text, Kelsey. And I was like, what's happening? And then like, we hear like, I hear like men's voices. And I looked at Elizabeth who planned the whole weekend. And I was like, what did you do? (laughs) Who is at the house right now? Because like, no, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. One of my favorite jokes to tell Elizabeth was that I wanted a Hamilton stripper to come. (laughs) Okay. Like as a joke, like someone dressed as like Alexander Hamilton. I like stripping. Because Elizabeth and I both love Hamilton. So we thought that was like funny. And so I heard like a, but like I didn't actually want a Hamilton stripper, but I heard a man's voice and I was like, Elizabeth, what is this? And she was like, don't worry. It says in the contract that they are not allowed to take their clothes off and it's not what you think and it's totally fine. And I was like, okay. So I got myself together, got up, and I went into the kitchen and we proceeded to have like the most fun ever. Right. And we... There were these two guys who came. They basically Chris were just and like... Jonathan. Chris and Jonathan. They facilitated drinking games. They made mixed drinks for us. They were playing music. They popped champagne. They were just like... They they facilitated the party. They were hype men. They were called cabana boys. They were cabana boys. But like they had like polos and shorts on and mm-hmm. like truly just like wanted us to have fun. And like just set up drinking games. They were like Emma said, they were playing music. They were giving us shots. Like it was just like they were just there to like make the party happen. Right. And we were like here for it. It was so it was just so genuinely so fun. They were like just normal, nice guys, like not being weird. And we were like also not being weird. Like they were like relieved that we didn't like ask them to take their shirts off. Right. Like they were like, they're like, yeah, it's kind of cold out. They were like, we can if you want. And I was like. Literally no no one here wants you to do that. Like we just, just, we just want to have fun. And so I think they were like, just like genuinely having a good time as were we. Mm -hmm. And like, it was like the most fun, like two hours, (laughs) two and a half hours (laughs) ever. And then we were laughing because, you know, we're like talking to the boys who are at Cody's bachelor party and they're like oh my god we had like 50 people come back to the suite last night and blah 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 they're like throwing a party yeah and we're like we had to pay two, two men, men. <laughs> to come over and drink play with games us. with us <laughs> and, for, and, and, hey, for two not hours to say, not to say that we probably couldn't have had yeah maybe we could have had a party if, if we, we tried a little harder like, but we just didn't want to looked at anyone at the <laughs> yeah. club actually that like all we did was glare right. at people right giving them the vibe do not come closer. Right. Maybe if we tried to talk to people, we could have had people over. But like we were just like, God, that is classic that we had to pay two guys to come over and hang out with us. <laughs> and like the boys are just having massive parties. And we thought that was pretty funny. But I would pay for them over and over and over again. I'd I much know. rather prefer that. It, than, yes. Yeah. Than Absolutely. like random people from the club. Right. It was so fun. And I think they had fun, too. I think they had a lot of fun. They were the best. They were great. Chris and Jonathan, we love you. The Cabana Boys. Cabana Boys. And then the rest of the night, we just did a little like sleepover. We put on matching pajamas. Cody sent in 
a really cute, a really sweet cute video. like video where he answered a bunch of questions and then I answered them and we had to see if we got the same answer. And Kelsey got them all right. So for the most part, it was like a drinking game. If Kelsey got it wrong, she had to drink. If she got it right, the rest of us had to drink. Yes. Sorry, I almost just burped into the microphone. And but like Cody's. Cody's answers were very like genuine and sweet. And it was just like. I think everyone was crying. Everyone was crying. I was crying a lot. Like out of. Happy. Happy. Out of happy. It was very sweet. And then we just did like a little dance, dancing time. I made everybody do a talent show. Talent show. (laughs) Which we had tapping. We had TikTok dances. We had the monster mash. We did have the monster mash. We had Jenna put on like an array of talents. (laughs) Like a drum line playing. And she pretended to be like a dancer for the drum line. Not really Mm -hmm. sure, but it was honestly brilliant. It was. You did the, we did the lingerie guessing game. We had a lingerie guessing game where I had to guess, everybody got me lingerie and then I had to guess who got it for me. And I guessed Emma for every single one. Um, Except the one that I actually got you. Well, I don't, I think you were just, she was sitting right next to me and also like, if I didn't know, like no one would have been offended because everything was like really cute. But like, I didn't want to say like, Oh, this has got to be. Yeah, I it's don't definitely know. her. <laughs> <laughs> Even though everybody's like my closest friend, like it, I couldn't have offended anyone there for sure. But like, if I didn't know, I would just be like uh, Emma. I don't know. <laughs> I was Emma. like, no, <laughs> no, it's not me. Still not me. But that was fun. And then we ate corn dogs, which are my favorite. There was food. also a Kelsey themed custom Power Hour. This is Liz true. Made. I love Power Hour, and so she like put a bunch of songs and videos that I like together. And that was that. That was that. And it was, it was just really, really, really fun. Really was. And we had the best time. And it was like the perfect weekend. It was. All my best friends. And like really smooth too. It Yeah. Everybody got along. Yeah. It, it was like, it was just fun. It was just fun. So that is the Bachelorette recap. Which, you know, kind of took out the almost the whole episode, <laughs> but not the whole thing because we do have a couple other things to chat about. Okay. One of them being the 1975 TikTok. I was afraid of this conversation. Because if you guys are on TikTok, you have seen the videos of the 1975 at their concerts and Maddie Healy kind of like flopping around stage. I can't think of a better word. He's like drunk sure. and like, singing and his voice is really good and i you know okay yeah let's let's hear the history of the conversation so okay well i like the 1975 i've always liked the 1975 and i and i had and i didn't realize like how many songs i know and love it's like one of those bands where it's like I know and like a lot of their songs but they don't they never like stick with me right but then i'm like Oh my God, I fucking love this song. I haven't heard this song in so long. I'm not like obsessed. Yeah. Because they have like super fans. A couple of weeks ago, I had mentioned to Kelsey that a friend of mine asked if I want to go to a 1975 concert. Right. And I was like, yeah, no, I don't really know the 1975, whatever. Brushed it off. Kelsey was like, yeah, like, they're fine. Whatever. And then this week, Kelsey texted me and she was like, Actually, I don't think I realize like I'm absolutely a 1975 fan. And I have to go to the concert. Right. And I was like, that's so unfortunate because I'm not going. I don't really care for any of their music, but it does make sense that Kelsey has more. Well, okay. It's it, more Kelsey's it's vibe. Like, it has like something about watching Maddie Healy tumble and toss himself around stage <laughs> <laughs> and he kind of looks like sad and he's like Kelsey loves a sad boy smoking cigarettes <laughs> with skinny jeans and converse okay I will say it now I'll say it in 30 years like, it won't change he's like sad he's like a little bit too drunk you like you're love, like you're like love that. Maddie are you okay <laughs> like are you going through something <laughs> <laughs> as like, you draw your hair babe like what Let me is help it? you. And it's like, and he is kind of just like, but his voice still sounds really good. Like I'm blushing. <laughs> so it has altered Kelsey something inside of my brain chemistry. Mm-hmm. 
and I can't get enough of it. And I have to go see the 1975. They're coming next week to LA and I'm fun. going. <laughs> oh my God. So much fun. What's funny. What's funny. What's funny. Is that everything that I ask Cody that if he wants to do that, he doesn't want to do. He says, why don't you ask Emma? <laughs> 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 every single time without fail and usually i'm like i know if i asked emma she would go with me yeah like emma's just always down <laughs> but like this is the one thing where she is like i i sent her a message and i was like i kind of want to go see the 1975 and she said have fun i will not be going with you to see the 1975 no in this case i'm saying why don't you ask cody she doesn't understand <laughs> something about it being sad but sounding happy i don't know she had some I don't stupid know. reason i'm just not into it it's i'm not into it and I'll be the first to say, I don't have like the best taste in music. So like, I think you do. I think you have uh, good taste in music. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I, I don't. don't. Know. But, and then also, have I talked about this on here? The Maddie Healy chicken shop date. I think I wrote that down as a subject to talk about, but I love the chicken shop date videos on YouTube. And his, I saw before I saw this other side of him on stage. <laughs> and he is so charming and funny. And I like, I didn't think he was like that cute in the video. Like I wasn't like, I was like, yeah, he's charming and funny. Like I watched it over and over and over again, but only because I thought he was like so charming and funny. Right. And then you have my man a flask. <laughs> and a cigarette. And a cigarette on some, <laughs> cigarette. some sweat. <laughs> and a fucking microphone. I like, mean, he sounds, say no more. he sounds like he sounds in the songs. I don't know. He's so like distraught. <laughs> like sad <laughs> and you're like you're like maddie babe i don't think you should be that drunk on stage what's going on why are you so sad all the time and he's but like you love it i know and i'm like oh my god i want to get inside that head i want to fix you <laughs> i want to fix you maddie healy <laughs> Sick, and, twisted, twisted but you know what i'm not going to fix him because here's a little rule here's a little life lesson for you you're never you're never gonna fix them okay and so don't you got to stop trying. And it's really not as great. Like he probably smells bad. He probably doesn't brush his fucking teeth. He probably can't get out of bed. off the ledge? No, <laughs> I'm trying to make everyone feel you better. You can't fix him. He doesn't smell good. He's he doesn't brush his teeth at night. I pr promise you that. Cigarette breath. Cigarette breath. And you know what else? He probably can't go get himself like water. He probably like, makes you go downstairs to get him like water from the fridge. Ugh. Yeah. That's like what? That's our job. <laughs> it's like... Yeah, sorry, I'm a passenger princess I'm sorry. Here to get me I water. I asked someone to get me water. Right. And like, that's really what you want. You want someone who's going to go get you water. Okay, so that's the moral of the story here is you don't date someone like, you can fix. You're going to date the guy who will go get you water. Right, right, right. And also, sure. 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 He's up there singing. He's got his cigarette. <laughs> <laughs> He's got kidding. that cigarette and those high top Converse. <laughs> but like, He's never going to be, he's never going to treat you the way that you like deserve to be treated. Okay. I need you guys to remember that. I need you to remember that. I, I learned that. Okay. <laughs> I knew that. I know that. That's how I found myself happy. Right. Okay. <laughs> With someone that gets you water and doesn't need to be fixed. And also someone that's like kind and like laughs, like gets my jokes and like, yeah, lets me listen to whatever the fuck kind of music I want to listen to. And yeah. like, has respects a job. me has a job perhaps <laughs> ever heard of it and like you just there's just something clicks and one day you're like oh i'm not gonna fix all these maddie healy's that are stumbling around yeah. my life maddie healy's a reflection of the past but you know what it is fun to watch them sing on the stage <laughs> <laughs> anyway so okay. maddie healy tiktok has like kind of fucked with me but in only the best way possible because it remi reminds me of how lucky i am every day to have someone like cody we love Cody. We love Cody more than I can even begin to explain. So there is that. And thank you guys for letting me share, <laughs> share this. I was like sending Emma voice notes and she's like, was trying to be so nice. And I was like, I just don't think that it's my type of music. And I was like, listen, it's listen. fucking good. We're going to see him, but we're not. But I am. Maybe I'll go Is by Cody myself. going? He might come. If Cody doesn't go, I'll go with you because actually there's a f many times that I've like fallen in love with an artist. Because he's on live. Yeah. Yeah. I like had interest. Totally. But, like, I don't sit and listen to music Who, all that Who's much. an artist like that for you? Casey Musgraves, actually. Oh, interesting. Like a long, I saw her like 
before COVID, yeah, you know, whenever year, whatever year that was. And I knew I liked her. My sister liked her. And there's a few songs that I was like, oh, these are good. But I never actually put in the time to like listen to a couple albums. Right. And I saw her at Outside Lands in 2019. Okay. And I was like, I love her. That's beautiful. Yeah. It's the best. So sometimes you do just have to go see them live. For sure. So if Cody won't go. I don't even know if I'll I go. Could consider like, it I, I don't know how badly I actually want to go. Right. But I do think I would enjoy it more than I realized I would at the beginning of when I first heard about it. Okay, well, we'll put a pin in it. Well, we'll let you guys know, I guess. Sorry, I like, I keep getting like, there's like a booger in my nose. In between your nose and your (laughs) mouth? Like in back, the back of your head? Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Sorry, guys, I'm filled with bugs. Okay, one final thing. We have to do our journal time. I have all new questions from last week because Thanksgiving is over when people are listening to this. So choose it's one. It's probably better that people don't know why. Emma's obsessed with Jason Bateman. She wants to fuck. <laughs> Emma wants to no, fuck Jason Bateman. I just have a crush on him. She has a crush on Jason Bateman. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? That's totally fine. Whatever. 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 Anyway, anyway, anyway. Bateman, Bateman girls rise up. <laughs> Bateman bitches. <laughs> All my Bateman bitches, you have a, a friend in Emma. You do. Okay, pick a I journal question. Okay. Oh my God, this suspense. What is a talent you wish you had? Oh, Emma, what is a talent that you wish that you had? I wish I could dance. Okay. I can't do that. You can. Uh, I just, you don't, you get like in your head. Well, you don't like yeah. let, let it go. I never took a single dance class as a kid, which like normally like a two-year-old, three-year-old takes like ballet, you yeah. know, takes a handful of dance classes. I was not that kid. I was like That's rolling okay. in the mud wearing boxers. She's not so like other girls. Pick me. <laughs> <laughs> but unfortunately, that pick me really didn't bode well because I just can't. I can't dance. You can I can. It's ever like I, the right amount of shots. You should right. see her out there. Give me a bottle of tequila and let's yeah, see what happens. She's like grinding <laughs> with everyone. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Me and Chili on Kelsey's in his, in your living room just dancing the night away. <laughs> you and Chili. <laughs> me and Chili. <laughs> okay. Love it. Okay. I was going to say that mine is that I wish I could sing, which you can. You can. I actually can't. But you can. In the same way that you can dance, I okay. can sing. I feel like you can. You just always end up joking because you get like nervous or something. Yeah, I get like because it's awkward. Just like I just start like shaking my ass when I get nervous. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I start like doing like impressions of singers. You start and, doing like Mariah Carey runs when yeah. you're nervous. And and you're like twerking really hard. And I hard. just start twerking. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Well, we could teach each other because I can dance and you can sing. Okay, let's just swap. If you guys want to hear Emma sing, you can look at her TikTok. Please don't do that. Okay, then don't post them on your public TikTok. Okay, but it's public, but like who looks at it? The, it's my the, safe haven. The circlers haven. are about to. Okay. There's my TikTok. What's your name on TikTok? Mm, I don't know. Classic. She has no idea. God, let me look it up. Probably like... <sighs> Emma Sophie A. Emma Sophie A on TikTok. There you have it. Also if, on Instagram, it's at oh. Emma, Emma S. Bama. B-A-M-A. So follower. Okay, quick plug. Sorry, I had to had to plug my best friend's Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, these bookers are taking over my life for the worse. I know, I know, Marsh. I know we're running out of time, but we're going to do one more. Just one more? Quick. Why don't we just speed round it if you unwrap them for me? <laughs> oh my God. Just say no if you don't Hurry want to. Hurry up. I'm trying. It's just like I spent a lot of time wrapping them. Okay, go. What is the best breakfast cereal? CTC Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Okay, CTC. I'm going to go with FF. Oh, that's a totally close Frosted second. Flakes. That's up there. I'm also going to toss in RPs. No. Really? You don't like Reese's Puffs? No. Why? Have you ever had I them? I don't know. I'm not as much of a peanut butter girl as I am chocolate. Okay. Um, oh, right. I would also toss in... These? 
CVs. Really? Cocoa Puffs? Yeah. What about what about HNCs? HNCs are totally fine. I mean, that Cheerios C's are yeah. not. Oh my God, totally. Don't give me a Cheerio. It has to be an HNC. Honey, honey nut. Yeah. Honey nut. <laughs> honey nut. Honey nut. Cheerio. Yeah. Okay, honey. here's one more. Honey, honey. Look. Have you ever had an imaginary friend? You know, I didn't. Really? Yeah, but I totally can imagine that you did. Oh my God, Tiff. Tiff. Tiffany. Tiffany hey, was Tiff. my imaginary friend. Hey, I honestly still think she's around. One time my mom told me like, it's time to get rid of Tiffany. And I said, okay, then I guess I'll keep her for the rest of my life. And so she's still here. Okay, where is she right now? I don't know. Cause now I'm just freaking <laughs> myself out a little bit. So, okay. <laughs> Cause she's like not real, you know? Right. It's like, if you can't lean into it too much. Yeah. But like she Risky. was around and she was never really around. I think I just like, I think I talked to myself a lot. And so like, I was like, okay. Yeah. Like when you talk about your salad being really good right, exactly. it's actually tiff that you're talking to okay if you could only wear one outfit for the rest of your life what would it look like some sort of baggy pant okay comfy baggy pant probably high top platform shoes of some sort okay uh plain jane top plain color and maybe like a funky jacket love and hoop earrings okay probably my hair up okay and I'd a go, lot of jewelry yeah that sounds just like you just like me i'd go hair up crop are we talking a pant. sbb up or like a curly no, up? like curly up okay curly up crop top baggy pants slippers and like maybe like a baggy jacket mm-hmm. that is you okay next finish this thought what annoys me what annoys me the most is you know what fucking annoys me the most people who are aloof oh my god yeah like i i'm like Okay, if I'm okay, this fucking gets me. I'm getting on, off an elevator. I'm mm-hmm. getting off an elevator. Mm-hmm. Someone's not paying attention. They start walking onto the elevator when I'm trying to get off the elevator. Right. Excuse me. Yeah. There's a lot of a lot of loud excuse me's in that moment. I don't like when people ask need to ask a lot of questions for clarification. Oh. Which is kind of aloof, but it's like, hey, this is the game plan. We're going here. Then we're gonna do this, and all these people are gonna be there. Wait, where are we going? Wait who's coming oh don't come you're uninvited you're uninvited that's it i say it once you have maybe, to listen the first time Emma maybe speaks. all my patience is, was left in the classroom maybe emma and i did emma also used to be a preschool teacher by yeah. the way we have patience for each other i feel like i we're also really honest with each other it's where yeah. like if i was like wait who's coming you'd be like shut the fuck up and yeah. i'd be like totally be like kelsey I literally said this 14 or like times. if you were doing something i'd be like can you fucking move and exactly. you'd be like sorry and then Except you'd move. we don't say sorry or thank you we don't say sorry <laughs> That's a rule in our friendship. We're pra- we have to practice it. We're like, getting better. Like if I talk to Emma about something for a long time, venting, something's crying. bothering me, whatever it is. We like apologize I can't, for crying a lot. We apologize a lot. And so we made a rule that we can't apologize for those things anymore. But then on accident <laughs> at my bachelorette party, I said thank you to Emma for like talking to me when we were in the closet. I said thank you. And she said, we don't say thank you. <laughs> and I said, we we do say thank you. <laughs> I mix We it up. definitely have to thank each other. <laughs> yeah. And it, there's a couple cocktails involved. I was like, we're on the up and up. We're going. Right. We don't we say don't that. Say thank let's you. go. Let's go yeah. have fun. So yes, that was my mistake. That's okay. Do you want this last one? Yeah, but we're like, I feel like we're like, this is like the longest episode of Circle Time ever. 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 What is your favorite holiday and why? Probably Christmas. Okay. Maybe that's basic. It's Sorry, not. guys. I just like, I like the feeling of the time of year. I like the Me like too. essence. Me too. When the you, lights. Yeah. Like driving down Main Street the other day. Yeah. And oh all my God. I noticed that yesterday. It's so beautiful. Lights. It's so cute. And everybody's just like, ha- like, it really is the most wonderful time of the year. It is. Like everybody's like, it's Christmas time. Like everything is just like a little like, oh, we'll do it after the holidays. Right. And like holiday activities, like getting a christmas tree and yeah, those decorating, things decorating like, christmas music like yeah. it's just it's just nice it's a good mood i agree so i really like that i agree what's yours christmas oh my i God. also like thanksgiving food yeah i think like you know not the holiday necessarily right. but like eating the, the, the like i love stuffing you do I, f- I can't get enough of it i also really like halloween and i don't like halloween because i i don't love dressing up but i like that halloween is the start of the holiday season. Yeah. Like there's so much to look forward yeah, to. Yeah, yeah, that's true. It really just kind of like kicks things into holiday gear. Okay. And so I appreciate that holiday as well. That's sweet. Appreciate Halloween. <laughs> okay. 
Thank you. Do you have a word of wisdom for the end? What's, gorgeous. That's your gorgeous. No words of wisdom. Yeah. Or what's word? your What's your words of wisdom? My words of wisdom is, are are love yourself, love everyone, spread love. We love love. Love you guys. Oh, that was so sweet. Spread love, and thank happy you, holidays. Emma. Happy holidays. Thanks for joining. Oh my gosh. Of course. Thanks for having me. And we love you. And we'll talk to you next time. Bye. Bye. note that this episode may contain paid endorsements and advertisements for products and services. Individuals on the show may have a direct or indirect financial interest in products or services referred to in this episode.